Behind every successful mission lies a number of failures. Ensuring the top-notch quality of the spacecraft is of utmost importance for safety. But what if it fails to provide such assurance and fails to do its job? That's what happened with China's Space Pioneer. On June 30th, 2024, China's Space Pioneer faced a major setback. But what exactly happened? This is the Space Technician signing on, and today we're diving into the recent mishap of China's Space Pioneer rocket. The Space Pioneer program, spearheaded by Beijing Interstellar Glory Space Technology Limited, also known as iSpace, has been in the limelight for its ambitious plans. This Chinese aerospace company is known for creating reusable orbital rocket technologies, including liquid rocket engines and launch vehicles, in order to compete in the market for affordable space launch services. Just like SpaceX, the company's goal is to offer dependable, affordable space travel. According to the state media, the business launched its Tianlong-2 rocket successfully in April 2023, making it the first commercial launch operator in China to send a liquid carrier rocket into space and successfully enter orbit. Space Pioneer has been working on the Tianlong-3, its flagship rocket, for the past few years. On June 30th, at a test facility in Gongyi County, Henan Province, Space Pioneer carried out what was supposed to be a static fire test of the first stage of their Tianlong-3 launch vehicle. This rocket is a huge liquid carrier rocket designed to aid in the development of China's internet network via satellite. Amateur footage obtained by Gongyi residents and released on Chinese social media shows the nine-engine test stage igniting and then, remarkably, lifting off. Hold-down clamps and other devices are commonly employed to secure stages in place. Since its inception, Space Pioneer has drawn many parallels with SpaceX. From the design of its rockets to its vertical integration strategy, the influence of SpaceX is evident. The Tianlong-3, which is compared to the SpaceX Falcon 9, was scheduled to go into orbit in the upcoming months, and Space Pioneer was testing it in preparation. Prior to the end of the month, the company declared that it had raised $207 million. The static fire test, a critical milestone for any rocket, was scheduled to take place on the 30th of June 2024 for the Tianlong-3. This test is designed to verify the rocket's engines and systems under full thrust conditions without actual launch. It's a crucial step to ensure the rocket's readiness for its maiden flight. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. During the test, the Tianlong 3's engines failed to achieve the expected performance. The nation's most potent rocket, which had nine engines launched at precisely 3.34 p.m., failed to lift off due to a structural failure of the connection between the rocket body and the test platform, according to the company. It was restated in the previous reports that there were no casualties. According to the company, the test generated 820 tons of thrust. However, according to a separate statement from the Gongyi Emergency Management Bureau, parts of the rocket stage were distributed inside a safe area but started a small fire. The fire was eventually doused and no one was injured, according to the agency. Residents uploaded a video of the rocket to the internet, capturing it as it ascended into the sky and trailing dense smoke before tumbling back down on its side. A massive explosion was caused by the kerosene liquid oxygen rocket fall. Space Pioneer posted on WeChat that the rocket's computer automatically shut down after liftoff and the rocket fell into a hill one and a half kilometers southwest of the test platform and disintegrated. Falling rocket debris in China after launches is not uncommon, but it's extremely rare for a component of a rocket under development to take an unscheduled flight off of its test site and crash. The test had to be aborted, marking a significant setback for Space Pioneer. Due to the structural failure of the connection between the rocket body and the test platform, the first stage rocket was separated from the launch pad, Space Pioneer, also known as Beijing Tianbing Technology, said. After liftoff, the onboard computer was automatically shut down, and the rocket fell into the deep mountains one and a half kilometers southwest of the test platform. The rocket body fell into the mountain and disintegrated. The incident occurred not long after Chang'e 6, China's highly publicized mission to successfully return the first ever lunar farsight samples to Earth. It also happens right after another instance of a hypergolic rocket stage tumbling over a city. The company had already scheduled Tianlong 3's orbital launch from Hainan Island in southern China for the upcoming months. Space Pioneer was criticized by several space observers for making a low level mistake and endangering the lives of the occupants. Tao Meng, vice president of the satellite startup EmpoSat, called for support for the private space industry. Tao said on Weibo that he and his colleagues heard the news at around 4 p.m. and had been extremely anxious until emergency officials announced that there were no casualties. 
It's been really hard for China's commercial space sector to get where it is today, he wrote. Such an incident might affect the life and death of the entire industry. No one could remain calm. I ask everyone to be more tolerant and allow more time to let changes happen. We've been through so much and there's no obstacle that we cannot overcome. Static fire tests are incredibly complex. Any number of issues, from fuel flow anomalies to software glitches, could have caused the failure. It's a reminder of how challenging rocket science truly is. Here's how it works. A rocket can have multiple stages, with the first or lowest stage burning and propelling the rocket skyward upon launch. When the fuel runs out, the first stage separates and the second stage ignites, propelling the rocket forward. Some rockets feature a third stage. According to Space Pioneer, Tianlong 3's performance is comparable to SpaceX's Falcon 9, a two-stage rocket. Since the authorities approved private investment in the space industry in 2014, Chinese commercial space enterprises have poured money into the field. While many began producing satellites, others, like Space Pioneer, concentrated on creating reusable rockets that could drastically reduce mission costs. Due to safety concerns, these enterprises' test locations are situated near the water in China's coastal regions. However, some are also located far within the nation, such as the Test Center for Space Pioneer in Gongyi, an 800,000-person city in the central province of Henan. While the failure is disappointing, it's not entirely unexpected. Every space company, including SpaceX, has faced similar hurdles in their journey. Issues are not uncommon during development. The SpaceX Starship prototype exploded following a static fire test in 2020. Space Pioneer promises to perform an examination and get testing on new hardware back up as soon as feasible. Tianlong 3 is meant to be reusable, thus delays there could have an impact on China's plans for mega constellations. To build the constellations, China must increase both its overall launch capability and its access to space. In 2019, China released legislation and policy guidelines pertaining to the development of commercial launch vehicles within the nation. Space Pioneer's business model also mirrors that of SpaceX, focusing on reducing launch costs and increasing launch frequency. It's not uncommon for emerging space companies to take inspiration from successful models. SpaceX has revolutionized the industry, so it's natural for new entrants like Space Pioneer to adopt similar strategies. Despite the setback, Space Pioneer remains determined. The company has announced that it is investigating the cause of the failure and will conduct another static fire test soon. With its Tianlong-2 rocket, Space Pioneer made history in 2023 by becoming the first Chinese commercial launch company to reach orbit. With a takeoff mass of 590 tons and a diameter of 3.8 meters, Tianlong-3 is significantly bigger than Tianlong-2. It must be able to transport 17 tons of payload to low Earth orbit or 14 tons to sun-synchronous orbit at a distance of 500 kilometers. Lessons learned from this failure will be crucial for their future success. As stated by Chinese President Xi Jinping, the mission was a significant step toward China's eternal dream of becoming a major space power. It also coincides with other nations, such as the U.S., stepping up their own lunar exploration initiatives. The mishap may also affect China's commercial space environment more broadly. The federal, provincial, and local government's support for the industry has grown. The failure of the static fire test is a reminder of the difficulties inherent in space exploration. It also highlights the increasing competition in the global space industry. As countries and private companies push the boundaries of what's possible, each failure and subsequent success contributes to our collective knowledge and capabilities. Failures like these are part of the journey. Space exploration has always been about trial and error, learning from mistakes, and pushing forward. The more players there are in a field, the faster we can advance. So what does the future hold for Space Pioneer? While the recent failure is a setback, it's also an opportunity for growth and improvement. By learning from their mistakes and continuing to innovate, Space Pioneer could still become a major player in the space industry. Space exploration is a journey filled with challenges, but also immense possibilities. Each step, whether a success or a failure, brings us closer to a future where space is more accessible to all. What are your thoughts on the Tianlong 3? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in space exploration. This is the Space Technician signing off for now, and I'll see you Space Cowboys in the next one.